Welcome to Attleboro Update. Last week's stormy wet weather came to an end just in time for Attleboro's fifth annual Expo for the Senses. Thousands came out to enjoy the warm weather on Saturday to take advantage of the low-cost food, jewelry, art, and entertainment. This year's event featured the return of many famous attractions in addition to many new fun activities for visitors to enjoy. We spoke with Mayor Kevin Dumas about the Expo and its importance to the community. This is our first day of sunshine in certainly almost a week and to be able to have this beautiful 80 plus degree day is absolutely fantastic and you can see by the turnout today here for our fifth summer expo it's still a great success and the community loves it. Smiling faces from everybody, all the participants, it's just a great day so far. We're really excited. Well, every year we try to do something a little bit different. So behind me, uh, to my left, we have the zip line, which is a huge line for the kids. And we also have, we brought back something from two years ago, the rock wall exhibit, and uh, the kids are having a great time with that too. And then uh, all tied into that area behind the Registry of Motor Vehicles behind us and the Registry of Deeds building, we have uh, the public safety component, and the kids are really getting a hot ticket out of uh, Freddy the Talking Fire Truck and the police and fire exhibits. We have our antique fire truck here today uh, from 1930 the city of Attleboro fire truck that we keep indoors stored outside the city uh, but we have that brought back for the event today and just all the fantastic crafters all handmade jewelry handmade different types of crafts um, but then shopping for Christmas and still in the end of June with uh, Nancy Young and the jewelry exhibit and all the other wonderful things that she has through the her jewelry store here in downtown Attleboro and then the live entertainment that uh, double ACS put together for us today unbelievable and certainly all the, the food vendors that are here local restaurants tours and all the people getting a great deal on food food items from one to five dollars you can't go wrong a great great time really honestly and to be able to see all these people it's great to be able to see people recognizing neighbors friends and especially when people have been in the house for a week <laughs> everyone's cooped up it's a great time to come out and just enjoy really Hi, I'm Mim Fawcett, the Executive Director here at the Attleboro Arts Museum, and I'm in the middle of what I think is probably our best expo for the senses yet. Uh, this is a wonderful turnout for a great event that we do every summer, usually middle to end of June. Uh, it's been lousy weather all week, so part of the reason I think that we have such a great turnout is because it's such a beautiful day that followed the rain, but also because we have amazing attractions this year. We have an incredible zip line. We have uh, a uh, painting that came to life, Edward Munch's Scream. We have incredible chalk artists. Last year we had four. This year we have eight artists that created masterpieces using chalk right in front of the Registry of Deeds. We also have 27 crafters this year that are selling things like soap, handmade jewelry, uh, we have ceramic artists, we have painters, so it's really a nice range of work from local artists and artisans. And um, let's see, we have caricaturists and, and just a really wonderful turnout for, of families and um, all ages. And one of my favorite events is coming up a little bit later, and that's a parade where kids have decorated their carriages and bicycles and they'll be marching in a parade with a police escort through the expo grounds and um, and that's a highlight for me at the end. So very glad we're all here and I'm, I'm really pleased that uh, Attleboro came out to celebrate. The committee's made up of people like yourselves from AACS. We have a representative Jim Jones. Uh, we have Nancy Young from the jewelry store downtown. We have Mim Fawcett from the Arts Museum. And we have Liz Constantini from Scorpios representing the, the food sector. And then we also have uh, Diane Falk from Cardinal Marketing to, for the marketing aspect for the event. And myself with my, with my staff. And we all pull it together every single year. We see what works, what doesn't work. We do some little surveys of the people who participated to see how we can improve. And we try to change a little bit to keep it fresh every year. And this is something that's been successful now for our fifth year. And we'll be heading into our fifth winter festival coming up this year too. And two successful community events that are family oriented. And to be able to bring the community together. And that's the focus of these two events. We raise all the money for this. For the, for the entry fees for the participants and all the private donors. I mean today would not have been possible without the event sponsor today. Which is Bristol County Savings Bank with their fantastic sponsorship. 
So all the people participating, plus our event sponsor today, Bristol County Savings Bank, they do this for the purpose of our community. And they know how it's a community building event and bringing people together. And they've been our sponsor for the, the Winter Night Festival in the past and also our Summer Expo for the Census. So it's really fantastic.